Okay, hello today, uh, YouTube subscribers. Uh, we're going to go through this a little bit. Uh, I had a bunch of phone calls on this in the, ever since I put the part one and part two videos up, so uh, I figured I'd give a little insight. One of the things I kind of messed up on was telling people what app it was. Uh, I never really truly got into what the name of the app was. I just said that you could get off the App Store. Um, but uh, basically what the app is, is it's called Stompbox. Okay? And uh, you can go right on the App Store and you can pick that up. Uh, it's $19.99 for the paid version. They also have a free version, which I'm going to show you what that's all about. Uh, but basically, you know, uh, I went through all the logistics on how everything's rigged up through the iRig. Okay, there's the iRig right there on top uh, in front of the iPad. And, uh, you know, the cabling, you know, of course, the one cable goes to your iPad directly. This cable goes up, follow it up to your microphone. Okay, and then... Uh, the headphone jack, which the little headphone jack right there, is what we're using to feed the audio straight into the mic of the radio. Now, of course, the free ver I mean the paid version gives you all this. Okay. So for for $19.99, you get a complete freaking rack. I mean, it's just great. Now, I'm gonna switch over and I'm gonna go to the freebie one. Now there's the freebie one. So we're gonna click on that. And then there's the freebie version. Okay, now the freebie version, when you first fire it up, of course, all you see is the preamp, which is basically like a mixer. Okay, you go up here to options, and uh, you can add effects to rack. So they give you digital delay, digital reverb, and stereo chorus. So we're going to add, uh, we'll start adding some of these to the rack. And um, well, everything that's free. And like I said, you can work the free version. There's no problem with that. But the nice thing is, is, as you see, there's all the freebie stuff. Okay, they also give you a thing called metronome or metrodome or something like that. I can't even pronounce the daggone thing. But uh, that's right there. And you're not going to want to use that for broadcast. It, uh, it's mainly for instruments. But uh, for, uh, for broadcast, you can start off with this, which is pretty nice. I mean, this is what I started with at first. And then uh, I moved over and said, man, I had to get the paid version. Now, the paid version, uh, of course, comes with uh, the compressor, noise gate, 16-band uh, EQ. Um, and uh, there's other stuff in there I have not even played with yet. And it's still on my agenda to do. Uh, I haven't done it yet. But uh, at least with the paid version also, you know, you can save all your patches. I'm sure you can do that with the free, too. But I'm up to Mud Duck 5 right now, so I'm, I mean, I've made uh, at least half a dozen patches now for different broadcasts, just trying out different things. And as you see, they give you a quick buttons here, so you can put your patches in these banks. You can put what pieces of equipment. You can turn them on and off right from here. And then, of course, your main uh, mixer, or, or what they call preamp, uh, you know, you can get to the controls right at the top, which is pretty cool. So, uh, but the app is called Stomp Box, is what it's called, and uh, that's what I've been working. And as you see, there's the 16 band EQ, uh, the stereo delay. Um, I got the compressor limiter in there. Now, there's other things I want to try, I just haven't had a chance to do it. And like I said, the program itself is $19.99, man. I mean, you really can't beat it. This is the most e economical way of going hi fi. I'm really, really liking the sound. Uh, we have a ton of water gates out there. Um, all over uh, YouTube uh, with me talking skip uh, 955 in Texas has done a bunch of them me on the 2000 uh, which is hollow points 2000 out in California so I've been working it um, I did try yesterday uh, I did try it out on my Yezu uh, flawlessly worked um, I did it two different ways on the Yezu um, I actually did it uh, through the mic and I did it through the patch in the back and, and I'm going to give you a quick demo of that here in just a second. And also, you know, 29, basically, like I told you, is pretty much stock, uh, except for variable power. And I did some receive mods, and that, that's really it. Um, other than that, it, you know, it's, it's pretty much stock, and that's another radio I was using. One thing I will say that I did kind of notice between different radios is the tonage difference. And getting everything just set exactly right, you got to be a little patient in getting it set up right. But once you got it, it's it's great. And like I said, it's it's really the most economical way to go for the price. You know, you got 20 bucks for the program. Uh, you know, 40 bucks for the iRig. I'm using the Best Buy mic right now, which is the Samsung. So you know, that was 35 bucks over at Best Buy. And then because I liked it so much, I decided to go buy a brand new iPad from Walmart. 
Um, and like I told everybody the other day, Walmart's got these deals for $2.99. 16 gig Wi-Fi, you can't beat it. So still for uh, you know around 410 bucks, some something like that, 410, 420. I'm hi-fi versus all my rack gear here, you know, and and everything else that I'm running here. My motor mouth mall modulator, and I did try this app. I, um, I have been experimenting a lot with it. I've tried this in my motor mouth mall modulator, worked really great. Uh, I did it in my direct inject um, Yezu there. Uh, it didn't have enough oomph for a direct inject 148 or my 142, uh, which, you know, that you would probably have to get a little bit more oomph. And meaning by that is, is you would probably have to put a mixer in front of it just to get the drive that you need for the audio circuit. Uh, other than that, it, it worked out pretty good with everything that I threw at it. The best way to do this is de definitely right through the mic, you know, the way I have it here. And you could do it one of two ways, uh, you know, here's my switch box. You know, this old noise toy from years and years ago, and uh, I thought it was pretty cool to make it into a hot foot or a foot pedal or a switch box, whatever you really want to call it. And basically all I did is, uh, you know, this used to be one of those deals where you plug the toy in at the top, and it was a pretty good idea, uh, it's a shame the company didn't last, called the Agitator. But uh, basically I've modified it, you know, I put the quarter inch plug here so I could plug the app right into it, and if I ever wanted to run a stock mic, I can still do that. And I use this switch to turn that audio pin on and off, basically. Uh, and then I just use uh, this as keys it up. And uh, that's what gives me my little pop that uh, 955 likes so much down in Texas. And then, of course, you put in the mic if you wanted to run the stock mic. But this is one aspect. The other aspect that I did in here versus other people is I use an old D104 stand. A customer gave this thing to me years ago. And uh, basically, uh, you know, there's nothing in it. It's the non-amplified. You know, he gave it to me, and, uh, you know, it didn't work. The contacts were all beat to heck on it, and I straightened them all out, and I made me a, you know, little old rigged-up stand here to uh, hold my studio mic. So let me see if I can't stand back at a little bit better picture. But uh, that's what I use most of the time, and uh, I've always had this. I've had this little deal for 20-plus 20, 20 years. But uh, that's, you know, pretty much the logistics of it. Um, I'm going to... Uh, cut this back here for a second we've already seen the 2000 in action in my last video so what I'm going to do now is uh, I'm going to throw this behind my uh, Yezu and uh, let y'all uh, see what that's doing and uh, like I said before the the app is called stomp box on the app store just look up stomp box and uh, that's that's what you're looking for so uh, give me a minute I'll be right back okay we got the Yezu fired up uh, I had to let it warm up a little bit get them tubes glowing and uh, as you see one of my favorite channels now, granted, I got wires hanging everywhere around here, and it's mainly because I experiment so much. But uh, <laughs> let's give this uh, thing a rock and roll try. And uh, when I'm done, I'm going to have everything unhooked and just show you the whole complete deal without it hooked to the radio. Just show you how portable this deal is. Okay. And right now, we're going straight through the mic. Uh, mic gain's about halfway. I'm not doing nothing real crazy here. Uh, and in all reality, this is just for audio purposes anyway, so you can get a good listen to of what it kind of sounds like. Uh, granted, I am using a 142 for a receive radio, which is kind of horrible. But I'd rather use something that a regular CBer would use when I'm setting stuff up, because that way they hear a good, uh, they hear good audio, but then them hi-fi guys really hear an excellent audio. So it works out to my advantage to do it that way. But I've got the 142 kind of behind me, and I'm kind of going to hold the... Uh, the uh, camera that way and see how much we can pick it up and hopefully we don't get no feedback. Check, check, check. One, two, one, two. Break, break, break. Audio. Breaker, breaker, breaker. Hello, radio. Break, break, break. We're testing the iPad. Stop box. On the iRig. Going into my Yezu 101. Breaker, breaker. Now, uh, take for granted, I am doing a couple things here. I am using my 142. I'm using the Bearcat speaker. It's a very, very bassy type of speaker. Um, so it's going to sound a little bit bassier in here um, and, and so forth. But uh, that's uh, kind of what it sounds like going through the mic. Now, uh, I'm going to not touch nothing. All I'm going to do is uh, basically direct inject this into the back of the patch port in the back of the Yezu. So I'll be right back and give you a demo of that. See that? Very quick. That didn't take long at all. <laughs> Basically, all I did was unpull it out the side of my mic and uh, push it in the back of the radio. 
uh, but uh, this is a listen to it through uh, you know basically a direct inject Yezu through the patch port one, two, one, two, three, four. Hello, radio. Testing out the Starbox app on the iPad with the iRig and a uh, Best Buy $35 mic. No two doubts about it. Breaker, breaker, breaker. Hello, radio. Now, the one thing I can say with working with the Yezu uh, type of radio, which I know a lot of guys don't even have one of these or so forth. I mean... This is the radio that you're usually going to hear me on the most anyways, very rarely, especially with summertime coming here, I don't need to heat up this radio, the tubes get warm, you know, so uh, we want to stay cool in here, no two doubts. Um, one thing I will tell you, you might want to think about doing, and I haven't experienced this problem in here yet, and I know I do when I run the rack gear or when I run uh, the motor mouth mall modulator, uh, basically what I have is, uh, let me get the other one and show you what I got here. And uh, basically, what I do with the with this is, uh, depending on you know what setup I'm running, depends on what I do here. Now I made these little boards up with isolation transformers on them, and basically what they are is one to one transformer, 600 ohm to 600 ohm, and they keep any of your hums, feedback, squeals, or anything like that coming through. Uh, and, and there's a whole bunch you can get on eBay. You can buy them. Um, I found that you know. Uh, I don't know how much the frequency response goes, uh, you know, with them. Uh, I prefer to use this one because that has the best frequency response uh, out of all of them. Uh, I seem to get very good results with that, but that's also a $75 filter. Where the one that's on here, I bought straight from Mauser for like four or five bucks, and then this is a Hammond's transformer. It's good from like uh, 50 hertz to 15,000. That was more in the $20 range. But each one of them have a different audio characteristic, so I, I know the frequency does play a part. But when it came all down to it, everybody seemed to like my economy version more than any of them. Now, they look kind of rough because these are like on prototype stuff that I've done here in the shop. Um, actually, I made these boards up in the shop, uh, you know, because we were thinking about maybe marketing something like this. So these are, these are made boards in the shop. But uh, needless to say, uh, you know, if you start dealing with a real, real lot of high power and RF floating around, you may have to go to something like this, which is not real big of a deal because you just put you some plugs on it. It's a one-to-one -one transformer. It's a safety precaution more than anything, but you don't need it. I'm not running that with this setup so far. I've ran it already with my 16 pill. I'll know more about it when we rig this up to a vehicle, and then we'll know if RF is affecting in the vehicle or not because it's more of a closer proximity with all your coaxes and stuff like that versus a base station so uh, we are going to adapt this in a mobile and see how everything turns out and uh, we'll give you an update on that and, and see if we can't shoot some videos on that when we get that all set up um, give me one minute I'm going to be right back I'm going to just uh, throw this all out there display what it all is but uh, like I said we're using the stomp box app that was made for uh, musicians and we're using it for broadcast which is pretty cool so we'll be right back Okay, here's the logistics of everything, uh, basically what this uh, deal requires, and this just goes to show you how portable it is. Uh, you know, we'll start off, $35 mic from over Best Buy, Samsung, I mean, you know, studio style mic. I've been talking on that uh, a couple times, and uh, over the air, some uh, YouTube videos are made with me on that, and sounds beautiful. Uh, it doesn't really matter, I don't think, but this system's pretty versatile, because any mic you put on it, you can pretty much dial it in with the settings. Um, of course, your iRig, you know, you can buy that online or through one of the uh, retailers uh, in your neck of the woods, that's for sure. And like I said, uh, Radio Shack, Best Buy, uh, carry it for sure. I didn't check in Walmart when I was over there the other day to see if they had it, but they do show it on their online, so I'm sure they carry it in their store. And of course, the iPad and the app, the app's called Stomp Box. Um, you need your cord here, your mic cord that goes from the studio mic to the iRig. Um, you can buy one of those. I make my own myself, but uh, you can purchase those over at any store, so you're going to need that cord. I don't think I mentioned that in any of the videos, but uh, you will need the cord to go from the mic to the iRig. And then, the cord you're gonna, of course, you're going to need your cord that's going to go from the iRig to however you're going to put the audio into your radio. Um, you know, this is the way I do it with the quarter inch jack, but, uh, you know, that's what you're going to need. And uh, then, of course, uh, depending on... If you already own an iPad, which I already previously did, 
but uh, you can also go buy a new one, and I know for a fact these are at Walmart for $2.99. So uh, there you go. I mean, uh, this is uh, pretty pretty daggone simple. Uh, I mean, uh, anybody can really do it, you know. Basically, this guy, uh, she just plugs in right here. So as you see, plugs in right there. Uh, let's go back to that cord. And that end would just go right into the bottom of your microphone, just like so. So we'll set that there. Uh, this guy gets plugged right into your iPad through the uh, headphone jack in the iPad, which I'm on the wrong side. So you plug it right in here into the iPad. I flipped around the camera, so it might be upside down. You plug that into the iPad, and then of course you got this cable left here, you know, one cable left, pretty easy. Headphone jack on that end, and then this end goes to your CB. Now, depending on which way you wire it into the mic, because all you need to do is wire it right into the mic that you're presently using. Just, just unhook the audio wire of the mic, you know, and tap this right into it. Now, you can elect to do an end on it, or you can elect just to use the wires. Um, me, myself, I think I'd pick up a jack or something and uh, put me an end in my mic and uh, do that. And that way you can use the mic for the key up, and, you know, you're talking to this one. So, uh, very economical. And then I showed you the one switch boxes, my couple of ways I do it. So, uh, there you go, man. Uh, I hope uh, this helped you all out. And like I said before, uh, sorry about not mentioning what app it was in the last videos, but it's called Stomp Box. Um, they're, they're right on the App Store. You can even Google it and learn a little bit more about, about it through there. But they, they make it for the iPad. I uh, hope you enjoyed the videos. If you have any questions, feel free to give me a call here at the No Name Amp CB Shop. And we'll see if we can help you out. Have a good one now.